Yes, hello today. Look, we did it. We're here. Ooh, there's a lot to take in, but let's just go over it real quick. This is the Tournament of Power. So if you guys don't know how to get to it, let's go to menu. Boom, there it is. Tournament of Power. It's right under PvP. It's a, it's a new mode. They just released it literally like 13 minutes ago because the, uh, the whole maintenance took till 8.30 a.m. Canada da 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 time. So we're here. But yeah, let's let's take a look. So I did read the rules, but what is interesting is that they even tell you what's the power level or I guess or maybe what how many how many opponents you expect to see like roughly and the difficulty with the fists is to explain that. I could be wrong, but that's what it would generally seem to me. And then also we've got recovery options which helps heal your team, but at the same time you also got to consider if you do that, will you get as many points? On top of that, you got your bosses. So obviously pick your boss correctly. I'm either going to go against Kid Buu or Cell. I, I see the double fist and I go, hey, I'm going to do that one. Uh, yeah, so, but I'm not sure if we're going to be doing healing or not. Uh, we're just going to take a first look at it. We're, we're going to play maybe a few. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, at least not on camera. Uh, and yeah, so it, it, it looks to me as if you pick your, your way that you want to go and you just do that. Now, if we're allowed to like try to clear everything, that'd be pretty cool. But I definitely see that this could be difficult for people that are very new. Now let's, let's, let's take a look. Cause if we were to click on here, you can take a look at also the boost characters, like what is possible. So I personally only have four of, I think, the amount of boost characters there are. Yeah, I, I, I think I do. Because if I look at the boost characters on top of the right, yeah, I'm missing two. I'm missing the ones from the new banner. So if you're free to play and you care about PvP, then this is going to potentially be a little bit difficult just because you don't have all the boost characters. Thus, it's going to hurt your overall season ranking. This is, this is exactly what I was worried about. Okay, then we get your ranking seasons. So if you do not so great, you get 50 CC. Uh, and then top below top 10,500. So, okay, so they're giving out about 1,000 CC if you hit the top 6,000 every season, which I think that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at season rewards. 300 CC. So they, they skimped us out of... 200 out of the 500 CC we used to earn from USTRs. So I think that's what they had planned all along to take away uh, 200 CC from our USTRs if they were to have kept the CC in the USTR. I'm not going to judge too hard. Although you guys can already figure out with my how I'm feeling right now that I, I think that that was... It's dumb. It's actually dumb. Although I do appreciate the uh, uh, like the erasers for equipment. I just think that the CC should have been kept at 500, but what do I know? Okay, but you know what? At least we have our ranking rewards, and it's the same if you're rank 1 all the way to 6,000. So realistically, competition, be fierce, get the 6, 000, top 6,000, you're Gucci, okay? All right, so well, let's try this out. So I'm not exactly fully sure how this is going to look. I'm sure once I actually start playing, it's going to make more sense. But that's just me, okay? Interesting. So we got tiers that currently don't matter yet. That That's what I'm understanding from this. We're just going to go all. All right. And then we're going to pick units that we feel will help. And obviously, since you got to pick your main, I'm thinking they want us to put our boost units with in the the nine a uh, three by three quadrant i think that's really realistically what they're asking of us which is fine now the question is how they're going to make this work if they're doing it the way i think they're doing it then in that case i'll leave shallot but he is not going right here he's he, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have him like go in the back so let's have now is there synergy is there freaking synergy? We're about to find out, eh? Uh, let, let, let's 
Let's put some big boys at the front. <laughs> I'm going to have Gohan like right behind this dude. And then I want to put some top units. I, I think that that's only justified. All battle bonus characters. Let's go. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do that. Oh, it can only up to six. Okay, so there we go. Name a coup. Here we go. Now we got one of each color. Now, I don't know how, like, effective this is going to be. And let's also have one last backup in the form of Shallot. Let's, let's just take a look. Now, I don't know if this is going to be good or not. <laughs> it's too hard to say, but we're going to try it. We're going to give it a shot. So this could, this could get really ugly really fast. Okay, advance through spaces and aim to conquer the stage and get uh, get a higher rank. You cannot change your team members or equipment outside of designated spaces. Once you leave the start space, be sure to challenge the tournament of power after selecting the best team members. All right, seems like we can equip, we can do equipments. Yes, we can. No equipment available for display. So it's clear to me. That this game ain't ready for equip Montes. So we're just going to go ahead and confirm. So guys, don't worry about this whole equipment thing. I At least for now, it doesn't seem like they want to be doing, uh, you know, equip Montes. So we're going to do this. So let's just, let's just do this. All right, let's take a look and see how this goes. This could go horribly. This is taking a long time. Okay. Win one battle in Tournament of Power. To, to watch your Tournament of Power battles, tap on replay button displayed on this result screen or by going to the battle log screen at any time. So do your battles and build the strongest team possible. All right, let's take a look. I do want to see where, the, where this had gone. Now, just be aware that I, I, I strongly believe that they should have allowed us to view this um, from the get-go <laughs> instead of having us do that animation but i'm not gonna nitpick too hard I, I i like the fact that they're gonna let me see it okay there are three different battle speed available you can speed up the battles until they feel like stepping in okay cool 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 Let, let's uh do a double speed okay base strike attack up blast the plan stuff okay so they're doing their they're doing their personal uh, tournament power z ability so you should take a look at that stuff prior to doing anything and it's clear to me of how they set up that i was clearly not a, a, aware of what i was going up against but you know here we are um all right there's a lot of setup on turn one i've noticed we're gonna go triple speed triple speed okay okay so they they fight back so every turn is turn based right so really comes down to that so you really want to set up your uh your front runners as well as possible but even so they seem to they'll attack anyone so clearly to me uh if some units have the ability to hit you from like hit you from certain squares so you're technically never safe this reminds me of a lot of the turn-based rpgs that i used to play on my mobile phone uh there's a digimon game that was similar to this actually surprisingly it was really fun, but it, it, it doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, no, this is actually really cool. I really like this. But this is definitely super, super um, collector dependent. So with, But they definitely also include your Zankais. Meaning, uh, the people that are going to have the easiest time in such a mode like this. I'm, I'm sorry to say it for the free-to-play community, but it's going to be the whales. Now... That doesn't mean that you can't do well in this as a free-to-play. What this means is that whales just have an advantage. And, you know, fair enough. I, I'm just, I'm wondering how that's going to go. Okay, final turn. So I didn't actually destroy the opponent's units when it was the, uh... Okay, oh wait, whoa, whoa, okay, I'm destroying them now. Okay. Is it, am I going to fail in terms of, oh wait, Rising Rush... Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Interesting. But there you go. That's the first look at the Tournament of Power. 
and we cleared it, meaning we can just keep going at it. And I think the yellow squares, by the way, I didn't mention that, but I think the yellow squares allow you to change your team composition. Now, I could be wrong. I didn't fully look completely everywhere to, you know, double check that. So don't take my word for it, but try it out. See for yourself. I think this is pretty cool. That's that for Tournament of Power. So let's take a look at some of the other things that's going on in this game, and we'll be right there. All right, so first up, we got the huge update celebration login bonus. Very quick, very easy. They're giving us 300 Chrono Crystals. They're giving us some Master Packs uh, tickets that are like the 30%. Pretty cool. And then, um, like, literally nothing special here, but, like, it's, it's nice. I'm not going to say it's not nice. And then seven of the 1,000 day campaign um, medals. That's cool. Then we get our first look at All-Star Volume 6. Uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, a.k.a. Super Saiyan Blue, is a defense unit, which is also, by technicality, transformation, because of he's just like the Cell, or at least similar, that's what they said, to the Revival Cell. Then we got Hit, who's a purple. Pretty cool. I I I'm wondering how useful these units will be in regards to their own teams. They could be very useful, so... Don't count them out yet, but just because they're Legends All-Star, maybe might be a consideration to skip. It's, all, it's up to you at that point. I have to actually see the banner before I can really make final judgments. This is too snapshotty to really say anything. Then we got the Goku the Legendary Super Saiyan, the Ultra Rarity. I think the Ultra Rarities look really nice. But uh, <laughs> um, I just worry about later on how free to play it will be afterwards. Because obviously the first one's free, but that was expected as that's a PR move. That's a normal business tactic. Give you the first one for free, so you get a taste of it. And once you're hooked, then start putting the price tags. Hoping that you're going to be a returning customer. So just keep that in mind when you, when you consider that. Okay, so about the new Tournament of Power mode, we did take a look. And then the update announcement. So we have the Tournament of Power, right? PvP loading screens. So they've improved it. Now, that's to be seen. I haven't seen that yet. You can now see what's the uh, Zenkai Awakening ranks, even during battle. So that's pretty cool. All right. And then finally, we have the new haste feature. And um, basically, let's take a look at what they say. So you're going to have to use about like 10 CC. And you can only use it a certain amount of times per day. So I wouldn't really call this a whale's feature but I'm not going to not call it a whale's feature. I'm going to call it more of a um, use at your own discretion. I personally am not a big fan of this, as uh, I can definitely see a lot of guilds using this. And that, that's fair. That's fair. I just wonder if that's the best resource to be forcing us to use. You know, it's just... Ah. Basically, the update has been so far what I think, um, you know... Hopefully, I'm I'm hopeful that it's going to be a good update. I can't say with certainty, but I, I, I would definitely, I would think this is a win for us. So we're going to see. I think that the update is good. I think, I think it's good. But again, I'm doing the surface level. I'm not really, I haven't really fully gone in as of yet. So here's hoping, here's hoping. I, I think based upon what I'm just seeing that this is going to be a good update. So I'm hopeful think there's a possibility and that is making me feel confident in this game and what they're doing anyways guys that's the video thank you guys so much for watching please don't hesitate to tickle the like button and you haven't already subscribe and click the bell for more notifications so you never miss another one of my videos have yourselves a salty day and i will see you in the next video mana, mana. Bum, dum, bum. Saitama!